So you want to know about Bitcoin. I've been getting lots of messages about Bitcoin. Understandably so. It's doing very, very well right now. But if you're watching this, I'm giving you the lowdown, dirty, no bullshit explanation. If you should spend your money, your hard earned money on investing in something like Bitcoin. So just a quick backstory, which I think is important. I've been into Bitcoin pretty much since its inception. I've been following it. I've been spending it. I've been accumulating it. I've been trading it. I've done everything that you could possibly do in Bitcoin and not just Bitcoin, but other blockchain projects as well. Ethereum being the other main one that I'm currently invested in uh, and a bunch of other shit coins that never panned out to be anything. So that's the first kind of thing that I want to talk about is there's Bitcoin, there's Ethereum, and then there's the rest. I personally do not think it's a smart investment to spend any money on anything else other than Bitcoin or Ethereum. Now possibly, very possibly, you can spend 10 grand on a shit coin and it goes up, you know, 25 to 150 X and you make a really nice, uh, pretty penny from it. But that it's at, that's about as rare as hitting the lottery. And none of those projects that I've ever invested in has ever panned out to be anything other than a big fucking scam. So over the last three years, basically what I've done has been offload all of my shit coins into Bitcoin and into Ethereum, but mainly Bitcoin. I don't even really dabble in Ethereum anymore. I just have some. So when you see people saying like buy Litecoin, buy XRP, buy Tron, buy Dash, buy Monero, there's a whole, there's so many other projects. Just know that essentially what their goal is, is to pump up that coin so it goes up maybe a cent or two where they can offload all that money once it goes up and they meet their you know quota and then they're going to just buy into Bitcoin anyway. So that's number one. It's mainly Bitcoin, mainly Ethereum. And there's, there's other reasons for that that is just a little bit more technical, but those are the two main ones. The other part of it where I see a lot of people getting tripped up is blockchain. What is blockchain? If your goal is to make money in Bitcoin and use it as an investment tool and use it as an asset, you don't have to worry about blockchain. Blockchain is just a fancy way of saying something is decentralized. It's the way that Bitcoin uses its transactions, the way that Bitcoin is distributed amongst its members that own it. It's not as anonymous as people say it is, right? Everyone can see everyone's transactions and it doesn't take a lot, especially once you have a lot of Bitcoin, it doesn't take a lot to figure out whose wallets are what. And then from there, you can see every transaction that that person's doing. It's not as scary as it seems. Just know that it's not completely anonymous either. You know, you, everything is tracked. Every, everyone can see everything on the ledger. And even at the end of the day, you don't even really need to worry about the technology and like the source of Bitcoin, what the project Bitcoin is doing. You just want to know, should I spend my money and is it going to go up? That's essentially what you want to know. And this is why I'm here to tell you that I usually do not recommend people get into Bitcoin because it takes a lot of time and a lot of investment to know how to not lose money in Bitcoin. I've been in Bitcoin for many years and I've lost a lot of money on Bitcoin. Uh, it's a very volatile asset. It goes up and it goes down. It goes up and it goes down. No one can predict it. No one understands why. There's a lot of market manipulation, but there's so much market manipulation that it kind of balances itself out. And if you plan on trading Bitcoin, you need to spend the time and the resources to learn how to trade. And it's a much, much safer investment to learn how to trade and take that over into like Robinhood or an E-Trade account and trade on the traditional markets rather than trading on an extremely volatile, extremely high risk, high reward asset like Bitcoin. The reason people like to trade in Bitcoin is because it moves in excess. It doesn't move in percentages, right? You can see a stock, it goes up 1%, one point. You're like, wow, I made a fucking, a, a, couple bucks today, that's awesome. With Bitcoin, it can go up two, three, even sometimes five X in that day. It's insane. It's a very crazy volatile asset. So if you're someone that has some money and you're willing to gamble that money, you're willing to just gamble on it, then Bitcoin can reap some really nice rewards. But if you're someone that just wants a safe investment that you think it's gonna go up, you just might as well just put it in the stock market because it just doesn't make sense to put it in Bitcoin. And what's crazy is like people are hitting me up now asking, to, you know, should I get in, involved in Bitcoin? Should I buy Bitcoin? Which is, it, it's at an all time high. The it's, it's at the highest price it's ever been. You know, will it go higher? We don't, it's, it's such a scary sort of thing to put, you know, uh, your finances into. So I usually tell people like, not really. I, I personally wouldn't, you know, I haven't really been buying into Bitcoin since the beginning of this bull run. 
You know, you buy it low and you sell it high. That you don't buy it high and then sell it when it crashes or you know when it dips down, you know, 20%. And the reason why I bring this up because we saw this in 2017 where it was on that blue sky breakout, everyone was on this high, it was we was just buying it up. We're buying it up. And then of course it dips down. And then you're caught at the very top end of the price, right? You're waiting for that Bitcoin price to go back to seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars and it's gonna take a few years to get there. You don't wanna be in that scenario. So my advice to you, if you're interested in Bitcoin, because there's so much money to be made in cryptocurrency, I'm not saying it's it's a bad investment. There's so much potential in Bitcoin. Once you learn the market, you learn how it's manipulated, you learn what the shit coins are doing, you learn what the projects are about, you learn about the people involved, you learn about its ties to fiat, its ties to gold, you learn about all that stuff and wait for the right time to buy into the market. Is today the right time, right? Could the price go up to 100,000 and then you're pissed off because you could have bought at 30,000, but you waited because you didn't know if it was ever gonna dip down? I mean, that's why the price has just been just skyrocketing, right? It's because the market's shorting it. They're expecting it to drop. They're expecting it to do another 2017. And what's happening is people are buying that up and it's driving the price up. So all those shorts are stuck, right? They're, they're stuck in that short trade and they can't get out of it because the price is just going higher and higher and they can never sell off their shorts. They're losing, they're getting liquidated left and right. It's a crazy market right now. But I'm just telling you, if you're looking for a good, safe investment, your best bet's probably to learn how to trade first, taking that into the stocks, and just investing in stocks initially. You know, investing into crypto, crypto as your first sort of like trading asset or even an investment asset is just, it's a little wild. It's a little wild. The only reason I've been doing it is because I started doing it. That's, I started in crypto, trading crypto, and then I moved my, you know, my learnings of trading from crypto into the traditional market. So mainly what I do is I take my winnings from Bitcoin and I just dump them into like, Apple, Tesla, Amazon, stuff like that. And then those fucking blue chips just keep going up. Hopefully this helped you out. Hopefully you saw this and you said, okay, there's a lot of hype around it right now. Maybe it's maybe I just take a step back and I learn a little bit more before I spend some money in there. Cause you're gonna need to spend some good money now. Like it's at a price where, you know, a couple hundred bucks, that's not enough to get you, you know, a good amount of profit. You're gonna have to spend a few thousands of dollars, you know, maybe 10, 20, $50,000 to make any sort of like real short-term profit, you're gonna spend some good money. So you might as well learn about all of it before you, before you dive into it. It's just an insane market, especially if like, if you didn't listen to me when I was telling everyone, look, it's at 6,000, it's at 7,000, buy, 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 buy. The happenings coming up. I mean, we're at this COVID dip. It was the perfect time to just finally get into Bitcoin. And I mean, everyone waited until the price got up to like 15,000 right before we was reaching all time high levels. Now it's at 30,000. I mean, it's so much profit potential, but you know, you have to wait and bide your time and understand the market and yeah, you have to know about it. You have to kind of do the research before spending any money on it. So that's it. That's it. Don't buy any shit coins. Do your research. You probably should just be trading in the traditional markets anyway. And if you have a high risk potential, then, uh, then yeah, then it is for you. Then Bitcoin's for you and you know, uh, Godspeed to you.